The 14th of July is Bastille Day, and as a way to celebrate, we came up with this fun trebuchet project. This one's scaled down so I can lay siege to my backyard instead of a full-size castle. Je m'appelle Kirsten Dunn. Et moi je m'appelle Todd Dermody. Et c'est Dunn DIY. This project should take about three to four hours to build. Head to your local Dunn Lumber to pick up the materials. Everything should cost about $100. Be sure to check out our blog post for the full tutorial. If you're watching on YouTube, click the link in the description. Now let's get started. A trebuchet is a type of catapult that dates back to the Middle Ages. This one is built to launch tennis balls. Begin by cutting the lumber to length using a handsaw and miter box or a power saw. The cutting guide in the blog has all the dimensions you'll need. On two of the 28 inch long 2x3s, measure and make a mark 11 inches from one end. This will provide a reference for mounting other parts of the trebuchet frame. Next, measure one inch down the length of both 15 inch 2x3 uprights and drill a hole with a 7 8 inch spade bit. This will be the pivot point for the trebuchet's arm. Now, position a 15 inch upright perpendicular to a 28 inch piece just beyond the 11 inch mark you made earlier. Secure with three and a half inch screws driven through the 28 inch piece into the end of the shorter piece. Add the shorter six inch piece at a right angle to the upright and secure to the 28 inch board in the same manner, making sure not to run into the previously placed screws. As you repeat this step with the other six, 15 and 28 inch pieces, make sure you're creating a mirror image to the first side. Next, measure in from the ends of the 28 inch lengths two and a quarter inches and drill three eighths inch holes for the axles of the wheels to fit into. Position five inch long two by threes in between the two sides of the trebuchet and secure at either end with two and a half inch screws. Next, mount the pre-cut two by twos for the front and back braces. Get the screws started at either end of the braces before positioning them in front and in back of the uprights and secure them in place. Now we'll do the sides. For the side braces, measure the angles by holding up a two by two and marking how it lines up with the uprights and the horizontal arms. Cut and secure them into place. Next, it's time to add the wheels. Mount them in place with bolts, washers, and nuts. Now mount a 20 inch one x three under the frame, screwing into the six inch pieces of two x three. Fit your last five inch piece of two x three between the uprights and screw into place. Now we'll add a track for the tennis ball to slide on. Cut molding to two 28 inch lengths and place on the trebuchet base so they slope together and create a track for the tennis ball. Pre-drill and secure in place with short screws. Take the remaining 28 inch two x three. This will be the arm of the trebuchet. Measure in from one end and drill a 3 8 inch hole for the weight. Measure in from the same end and drill a 7 8 inch hole for the pivot point. Cut a dowel to length and slide it into the two uprights with the arm in between. Secure the dowel in place with screws and secure the arm in place with dowel pins. Next, add hooks and eyes to the end of the arm and at the base of the trebuchet. Now it's time to add the weights. We used two seven and a half pound disc weights and attached them to the pivot arm with a bolt. Be careful, the weights will cause the arm to swing quickly. Finally, cut a diamond shaped pouch for the tennis ball out of denim. Punch holes in either end with an awl. Using the measurements found in the blog post, cut your cord to length and tie the sling to the end of the arm. And that's it. You're ready to lay siege to your backyard. 
We hope you have fun with your new mini trebuchet.